Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we are going to continue our material regarding vessel vessel basic design. In this video, we will design the shell and head in the vessel vessel developed to a mechanical data sheet. I recommend you to see some previous video related to this video. So, we will be more understanding regarding the theory or concept to design vessel vessels. Alright, before we continue, please support this channel by subscribing FN Engineering channel and like our video. Well, here are our outline explanations. First, I will show the previous video from the FN Engineering channel. Then, we take some required data from the mechanical data sheet to calculate the shell and head in the vessel vessels. Next, we need some reference and equations for designing shells and head. And the last are detail calculation for the shell and the head in the study case. Go to the next slide. Following this are some previous video regarding basic design. We divide into two major explanations, namely vessel vessel series or to design or parts separately in vessel vessels and vessel vessel design of series material to design of vessel vessel completely. For vessel vessel series, we need to watch cell thickness calculation part 1 and part 2, form head thickness calculation part 1 and part 2 also, maximum allowable rocking pressure, maximum allowable pressure and test pressure calculation, lastly impact test evaluation part 1 and part 2. Meanwhile, for vessel vessel design, we have to watch Two videos. There are vessel vessel basic design part 0 and vessel vessel basic design part 1.1. The link video have written in the description. Well, in the material, we use some data from the mechanical data sheet in the previous video to calculate shell and head. Here are the all required data. This internal pressure 220 psig. The maximum design internal temperature 150 degree Fahrenheit. Minimum design metal temperature is 32 degree Fahrenheit. Next, the vessel shall be designed by full radiography and crescent allowance 3.2 mm. The material uses SA516 grade 70 both for the shell and the head. Then, the inside diameter of the vessel 5.5 feet. And the type of head is ellipsoidal head, 2.1 or standard ellipsoidal head. In the next material, we will show the use reference and equation for the calculation and evaluation. First, we use UG16 for the minimum thickness of the shell and head in the vessel vessels. Next, for the shell thickness calculation, we use reference UG27 and equation UG271 and UG272. Meanwhile, for the form head calculation, we use reference UG32 and appendix 1-4 and equation UG32-1 and appendix 1-4 equation 1. Then, we use paragraph UCS66, figure UCS661, and figure UCS662 and table UCS 66 for impact test evaluation. The last is forming strain and tolerance using UG 77 and UG 80. Well, we go to the calculation and evaluation for shell and head. We will calculate some parameters for these parts, including thickness calculation, maximum level working pressure, maximum global pressure calculation, impact test evaluation, and forming strain tolerance evaluation. However, for forming strain and tolerance evaluation, we will discuss later. For detail calculation, we will go to the species file. Here is the species file to solve this study case. As per the previous video, we give some color to make easy the calculation including yellow color, for the input data, green color, 
for the calculated parameters, blue color for the assume or define data, the orange color for the for data get from database, and gray color for the converted data from the US unit to SI unit. We put the shell formula and head into the spreadsheet. First of all, we calculate and evaluate the shell and define all parameters in this formula from the input data, including pressure, radius or diameter dimension, allowable stress, and joint efficiency. In addition, in this calculation, we use the SI unit. So, if we find the US or other units, we have to convert into the SI unit, such as design internal pressure, design internal temperature, minimum design metal temperature, and insert diameter. Alright, we input the parameter into the spreadsheet one by one. Internal design pressure is 220 PSIG. We convert into MPA to be 1.52 MPA. Next, the internal design temperature is 150 degree Fahrenheit or 65.56 degrees Celsius. Minimum design temperature is 22 degree Fahrenheit or 0 degree Celsius. Then, cross allowance is 3.2 millimeters. The insert diameter is 5.5 feet or 1676.4 millimeters. From insert diameter, we calculate insert diameter in corroded condition, insert radius, and insert radius in corroded condition. Insert diameter in the corroded condition is insert diameter plus two times of corrosion allowance. Insert radius is obtained from insert diameter divided by 2. Meanwhile, insert radius in the corroded condition is obtained from the insert diameter corroded divided by 2. Next, we define joint efficiency. The vessel are designed by full radiography. So, the joint efficiency at the longitudinal joint and circumferential joint is 1. Then, global stress at descent temperature and ambient temperature. We find this parameter in the SME section 2D. We get 138 MPA, both at descent temperature and ambient temperature. Lastly, we determine the mill under tolerance and forming tolerance. The mill under tolerance or plate tolerance is the smallest value of 0.3 mm or 6% of the nominal thickness of the shell. Meanwhile, forming tolerance is the smallest value of 1 mm or 10% of the nominal thickness. Alright, we have done input the given data into the spreadsheet. In the next step, we calculate the required thickness of the shell. We use paragraph UG16 and UG27 to calculate the thickness of the shell. Based on UG16, the minimum required thickness for the shell is 1.5 mm plus corrosion allowance. So, TUG16 is 4.7 mm. Then, we calculate the required thickness from the equation UG27-1 and equation UG27-2. Actually, we don't need to calculate the required thickness at the circumferential joint. Because the joint efficiency at the circumferential joint and longitudinal joint is the same, we have to calculate the required thickness at the circumferential joint if the joint efficiency at the circumferential joint is less than one half of joint efficiency at a longitudinal joint. Even though, I will show the calculation for the required thickness at the circumferential joint. We have to be careful when input given data into the equation. We input the parameter including internal design pressure, insert reduced and corroded condition, allowable stress at descent temperature, joint efficiency at the longitudinal joint for equation UG27-1, and joint efficiency at the circumferential joint for UG27-2, and corrosion allowance. We get 12.51 mm for the required thickness at 
longitudinal joint and 7.81 for the required thickness at a circumferential joint. We choose the largest value for the shell required thickness. So, the shell required thickness is 12.51 mm. In the next step, we define the nominal thickness. We can guess from the required thickness value. We try to use 15 mm for the nominal thickness. So, the nominal thickness in the current condition is 11.8 mm. After that, we define the finished thickness of the shell. It can be obtained from the nominal thickness minus plate tolerance and forming tolerance. We get 13.7 mm for the finished thickness. Lastly, we will check whether the nominal thickness is acceptable. Well, the thickness is acceptable because the finished thickness is larger than the required thickness. Alright, in the next step, we calculate the maximum lower working pressure and maximum lower pressure. We use the equation UG271 and UG272. The important things for calculation maximum lower working pressure are use thickness is finished thickness minus corrosion allowance and lower stress at the design condition. Meanwhile, for the maximum lower pressure calculation, we use finished thickness without corrosion allowance and lower stress at ambient temperature. As the result, we get 1.71 MPA and 3.46 MPA for maximum lower working pressure. So, we use the smallest value for the maximum lower working pressure at the shell. That is 1.71 MPA. Meanwhile, for the maximum lower pressure, we get 2.23 MPA and 4.54 MPA. We also use the smallest value for the maximum lower pressure of the shell, namely 2.23 MPA. Well, finally, we evaluate the impact test exemption. First, we define the material classification of the shell material. We know that the shell uses SA516-70. There is no additional heat treatment for this material. So, this material is classified in curve B based on figure UGS66. Then, we define the governing thickness of the shell. The shell is joined by butt welding. So, the governing thickness is defined by the largest welding size or the same with the nominal thickness, which is 15 mm. In the next step, we have to define calculated minimum diameter temperature based on table UCS66. If you don't find the exact value of 15 mm in the table, you can iterate the calculated minimum diameter temperature value. So, we get minus 16.7 degrees Celsius. Lastly, we compare the required minimum diameter temperature or 0 degrees Celsius and the calculated minimum diameter temperature or minus 16.7 degrees Celsius. The calculated MDMT is colder than the required MDMT. So, the impact test is not required for the shell. Alright, we have done calculating and evaluating the shell of the pressure vessels. In conclusion, we get 12.51 mm for the required thickness, 15 mm for the nominal thickness, maximum lower working pressure 1.71 MPA, maximum lower pressure 2.23 MPA, and impact test extended. Go to the next part. It is head. The given data and the process calculation is similar to the shell. For the equation, we use the equation UG321 and equation in appendix 1 for number 1. Moreover, we get the same value for the given data, such as material SA516-70, vision pressure 1.52 MPA, Vision temperature 65 degrees Celsius, minimum diameter temperature 0 degrees Celsius, corrosion allowance is 3.2 millimeters, insert diameter 
of the head is 1676.4 mm. Then, the value of insert diameter corroded, insert reduced, and insert radius corroded are the same. The joint efficiency is also 1 because the addition is used by full radiography. Then, there is a different parameter, namely head ratio. The head ratio is 2. It means that the insert radius of the head is 2 times of the insert depth of the head. So, we get the insert depth of the head, 519.1 mm. And insert depth corroded is 422.3 mm. Then, the value of lower stress is the same, 138 MPa. The plate tolerance is also the same, 0.3 mm. The forming tolerance for the head is the maximum 10% of the nominal thickness. In addition, we have to calculate K for the corroded condition. The formula for calculating K can be obtained from the equation Appendix 1, 4.1. We get K 0 0.995 for the corroded condition. Alright, we have put the all given data for the head. Then, we calculate the required thickness. We also use UG16 for the minimum thickness and the required thickness calculation using equation 1 for number 1. We input some value including internal addition pressure, insert diameter corroded, K corroded, global stress at design condition, inefficiency and corrosion allowance into the equation. We get 12.41 mm for the required thickness. So, the required thickness of the head is the larger value or 12.41 mm. Next, we define the nominal thickness. We assume 15 mm for the nominal thickness or the same with the shell thickness. Then, we will get the nominal thickness in the correct condition 11.8 mm. The finished thickness is 13.2 mm. We get from the nominal thickness 15 mm minus plate tolerance 0.2. 3 mm and forming tolerance 1.5 mm. Lastly, we compare the finished thickness 13.2 mm with the required thickness 12.41 mm. The finished thickness is larger than the required thickness, so the nominal thickness of the head is acceptable. The next calculation is maximum lower working pressure and maximum global pressure calculation. The step calculation is similar to MAWP and MAP for the shell. For MAWP, we use equation 1 for number 1, and for the MAP, we use equation UG32.1. So, we get the 1.65 MPa for the maximum blocking pressure and 2.17 for the and 2.17 MPa for the maximum global pressure. Lastly, we evaluate the impact test exemption. The steps and values are the same as the shell. Material classification is in curve B. Governing thickness is the same as the nominal thickness, 15 mm and calculated minimum design metal temperature is minus 16.7 degrees celsius. So, based on this value, an effect test is not required for the head. Alright, we have done the calculation for the shell and head. Next, we will go to the next slide. We will calculate and evaluate the other pressure part of the vessel including nozzle, reinforcement, flange, and fittings. The detailed explanation for this part will be discussed in the next video, insyaAllah. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column.
And if you get something new from this video, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, share this video or channel to others, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.